I'm gonna take this Mark Rober egg drop device and attach it to the drone. Lift it 500 feet up in the air and then drop it. But let's rewind just a minute. There's a lot going on here with the straws, but Hey guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to do an egg drop challenge with a drone. You got that right. I'm going to take this up 500 feet and drop it from the drone and it's going to go all the way down. And smash or not, we're going to find out. Now since the beginning of time, people have been doing egg drop challenges in all sorts of creative ways. Using Pringles cans, balloons, straws, flour, the floor. But I like to take things to the next level. What I mean is I want to drop an egg from higher than anyone has ever dropped an egg before. I'm going to take this egg drop device that Mark Rober made. I want to drop an egg from where no man, woman, or child has ever dropped an egg before. I want to go bigger and better. Well, have no fear because no, not Mark Rober, but I am here. No! No! Now, Mark Rober may have worked for NASA, but guess what? I worked for NASA too. I was the best darn janitor they ever had. Now, on to building the drone release. The drone release is gonna be what actually drops the egg drop device from the drone 500 feet in the air. We need to build something that I can remotely access and detonate the trigger to release the drone. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. I went through some CAD files, did some mock-up 3D files with my friend Joaquim over at Digital Innovations Lab. Okay. And then we decided to go on Amazon and buy one for 20 bucks because I had no clue what I was doing. And so here we are, the drone drop device. So this is how the drone drop device works. Basically, it's a little receiver. You just turn it on over there. It's locked and loaded. And I don't know if you could see that. There's a little lever right there. When we press release, the lever opens. And whatever's hanging from it will drop. And then when we're high enough, I just press the release button. Boom. Luckily, I have carpet. Now let's go outside and see if the drone could lift it. Let's get the battery going. I turned the receiver on, now I just gotta orient it with GPS, then we're gonna lift off. And hopefully, the receiver will work and release the egg, that would be amazing. Let's do it. All right guys, we have lift off. Let's see how high we can get this and then drop it. Moment of truth now, this is armed, locked and loaded. Let's point it at the egg and see if they'll release it. In three, two, one. Oh, it worked. Oh, baby, that is awesome, guys. You know what that means. That means that you're gonna comment below now and let me know what type of egg drop device you want me to build and we'll see which ones last the longest, which ones are best protect the egg because as you see, we can drop it from a drone, we can go 500 feet up in the air, we're gonna go to a park, we're gonna go to lots of cool places and use this remote control device to drop egg drop devices. All right guys, attempt number one worked. That was about 100 feet. We have it locked and loaded again. We're gonna try to go up to 500 feet now, between three and 500 feet, and see if the transmitter works. You have the transmitter right there. Are you ready? Attempt number two. Oh my God. Here we go. Let's go all the way up this time. All right, ready? One second. Three, two, one, press it. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, look at that. Oh, it worked. It worked from all the way up, look at that. Sick job. That was awesome. That was amazing. All right, let's get the drone back down, guys, now. Now we're gonna attach a parachute guy to it. Oh, that was a quick lift off. Three, 
two, one, drop it. There it goes, there it goes, oh no, oh no, it's not. It's gonna get lost in the tree, maybe not. I think it's gonna get lost. Watch the cars, watch the cars. It's stuck, we lost the parachute somewhere. Yeah, but you know what? It wasn't even coming down that great anyway. All right, good job. The release worked perfect. Can't wait to do more egg drops. Comment below, let me know what egg drop device you want me to build, and we're gonna go to the park or somewhere and just launch all of them. All right, well, those trial runs worked perfectly. Better than I could have expected, better than I could have hoped for. Well, I, I was hoping for that, but it actually worked. The drone lifted the egg up and it was so stable in the air. I'm thinking because the drone is used to lifting a camera. I removed the camera, so the drone had some weight that it was still able to lift and the egg took the place of the camera as far as weight wise goes. But the fact that it was so stable in the air, it went straight up, was perfect. Now the question is, will it be able to lift this egg drop device? It's not that heavy, there's a lot going on here with the straws, but really straws aren't that heavy. Let's attach it, get outside, and lift this 500 feet up in the air and drop it. It'll be so cool whether it cracks or not, but comment below, let me know if you think this will survive. The Mark Rober egg drop device. This is the one Mark Rober made. It looks good, it feels good, it looks like it should work. The question is, will it? Let's go outside and find out. All right, we're outside. We are about to try and launch this. We're a little bit of a race against the clock because as you see here, thunderstorms are rolling in, so I really want to get it up before the rains come. Let's get this up and going. Hopefully we can launch it. Hopefully it'll work perfectly. Let's do it. Oh, it left without the egg. It left without the egg. It left without the egg again. Here it goes. Take three. I put a floor of tape under the egg just to keep it hanging in there because it got crushed a little bit. All right. Oh, I didn't turn it on. <laughs> We're gonna go 50. 500 feet up guys, let's do it. All right guys, we have the drone up there with the egg. I don't want it to land on a person or a car. So I'm gonna, uh oh, that's a leg. Why are the legs falling off? Okay, we gotta position it better. We probably don't have that much time. It's a little wobbly. I don't know how or why a leg fell off. In three, two, one, here it comes, here it comes. Ooh, and it splattered. Even with stopping it, even with the tree stopping it, it did not protect it. We're gonna clean that up in a minute. But first, let's get the drone down. It's 1 a.m. in the morning, Thursday morning here. I was gonna end the video and I was gonna say, hey, in the next video, I'm gonna do it right. I know what I did wrong. And this video was entertaining. It was good, we saw some trials. We got it up in the air, we dropped it, we launched it, it shattered. And next time, we're gonna make the cords longer. But I couldn't leave this video out without A, knowing for myself exactly if it'll work, and B, I just wanna do it and I want you guys to see it without having to wait for the next video. So, right now I'm gonna be building another straw device, but this time I'm not gonna let the drone crush it. I'm gonna give it some leeway, I'm gonna tie some extra zip ties so that the drone could go on the ground and the egg drop device could go next to it, and when the drone lifts up, it'll drag it up with it. Hopefully not crush it. Let's do it. Street. It's 1.30 a.m. And do our test. Let's go. All right, guys. I gotta be quiet because all the neighbors are sleeping. I have device number two, trial number two. All right, let's launch it up and drop it. And we have liftoff, guys. Look how beautiful that is. That is awesome.
We're gonna arm our remote. It is armed and loaded in three, two, one. Scrambled eggs, baby. <laughs> and now we know this egg drop device from 500 feet just would not The velocity work. is just too high. 500 feet if you guys is have just any too comments, high. Let me know below. And I will be making 10 awesome working egg drop designs for the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was definitely worth a shot. Now I know the drone that crushed it wasn't the fault that it cracked. The velocity of the fall from 500 feet is just too high. So, back to the drawing board. This is gonna be fun. Comment below, let me know. CJ wants to say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. CJ just came home. Maybe he'll be in the next video, right? We will see you soon. Stay incredible. Peace, Peace out. You missed.